Hey everyone, today we have something a little different. I'm in the middle of updating or overhauling my SQL course, so I thought I would try covering some SQL on YouTube. We'll see how it goes. I'm going to talk about views, a really useful SQL feature. So I'm going to be using this VS Code extension. I think it looks nice uh, on video. I've got my SQL queries up top, the evaluated results down below, but of course views and the code I'll show you works anywhere that you can run SQL. All right, so let's begin. Views. Views allow us to take usually complex SQL queries that are annoying to type, store them under a name. It's almost like a variable for a query. But more than that, they act like a virtual table. We can treat the name of the view as if it were a real table. So I'll show you an example. I have three real tables. These are not views. Employees, where we've got employee number, birth date, first name, last name, gender, hire date. Then we have departments, which is just a department number and a department name. And then we have the combination between them, where we have an employee number and a department number, and then a from date and a to date, indicating when somebody worked in a given department for how long. So on its own, not that useful just to have those numbers. Definitely not that useful just to have department names on their own and kind of useful, the employees table on its own, but a lot of the work that we would do would require some joining together. Something like this query right here, where I am joining all three tables together. I'll just run this so that we can get the employee name alongside the hire date and the department name. So we had to join three tables, join on employee number, join on department number. If you don't know joins, it doesn't really matter. It's just a long, annoying query to have to type just to get the data into a workable format. And now I can do basic analysis like grouping by department name and counting how many employees have worked in each department or breaking it down by gender within each department. Simple enough code, but what I am having to do is duplicate this double join over and over and over every time I want to work with uh, the employees alongside department information. So this is where I could use a view. I could create a view based off of this initial query that I ran that combines all the information from employees and departments, department numbers, all that stuff, joins it together, and then I can give that a name and treat it as if it were a table. And here's how I do it. I write create view, and then I come up with some name, maybe something like full employee departments or emps, demps, demps, <laughs> and then as, and then whatever query I want to be stored under this name. Now, when I run this, we're not going to really see any results, but uh, if I head over, I'll just do it in my client here. If I do show tables now, it says that there's a table called full employee departments, and I can describe it as if it were a table, if I can spell it correctly. There we go. It looks like it's a table. I can select star from it, but it is not a table. There's a lot of rows in it, 500,000 rows, but it is just a query that has a name, but it acts as if it were a table. And this means that I could rewrite something like this right here, where I grouped by department name and gender, I, I could rewrite it to this. Select from full employee departments, and that's it. I'll run the query, prove that it works, and we're getting the breakdown by gender within each department. So we stored this query under the name full employee departments. We did that using create view. Now this will act like it's a table when I select from it. I can use things like order by, group by, window functions, aggregate functions, but it won't be insertable or updatable like a real table would be. Um, some views are insertable or updatable, but most of them aren't. If you use any of these clauses in a view, it will not be insertable or updatable. It's more of an advanced topic anyway. In this video, the main takeaway should be that you can create a view by using create view, give it a name, and then as some query, that query will be stored and run every time that you reference that view name, and it will be treated like a table when you select from it. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed it or learned something. I'll be back next week. Goodbye, everyone. Have a great life.